Something is wrong with space. Astrophysics has just been thrown into crisis, and it's one of the gigantic structures we're in the middle of that's to blame. If you're ready for a cosmic identity crisis, then be sure to stay tuned until the end. And if you like it, then I'm galactically happy about a thumbs up and a comment because that's how we get the algorithm to show this video to even more people who will then also be plunged into the crisis. Thank you guys and welcome. You are incompetent. Sorry to start the video with an insult. I am also incompetent. Just like all astrophysicists and cosmologists, we are incapable of precisely determining the exact rate of cosmic expansion. And this dilemma is known as the Hubble tension or the cosmological crisis. And this crisis has only intensified considerably. And the reason for this is an investigation of the gigantic structure Laniakea which runs like a neural pathway through the dark depths of the cosmos and in which we find ourselves. The Hubble tension is named after the famous astronomer Edwin Hubble, who discovered in the 1920s that the universe is expanding. This was not known before. Everyone assumed a so-called steady-state universe, a static universe without expansion. And anyone who said anything against it was considered a conspiracy theorist who was not to be taken seriously. So much for trust the science. Hubble's groundbreaking observations, however, laid the foundation for the modern understanding of cosmic expansion. He discovered that most galaxies are moving away from each other, and the further apart they are, the faster they move. This observation led to the formulation of Hubble's law, which describes the relationship between the distance of a galaxy and its speed. Now you could say good, then we know how the cosmos is expanding. Peace, joy, and pancakes, everyone goes home and is happy. But fiddlesticks. Hubble's tension throws a spanner in the works because there are two main methods in cosmology for calculating the current rate of expansion of the cosmos, known as the Hubble constant. One method is based on observations of galaxies in our relative surroundings, while the other method is based on modeling the cosmic background radiation, i.e., the relic of the Big Bang. And as you can imagine, both methods provide different values for the Hubble constant. The uncertainties in the calculations are taken into account, but the discrepancy between the results is still significant. This means that we do not have a clear answer to the question of how fast the universe is expanding and therefore cannot know its exact age. In other sciences, such as sociology, we would simply say that the results differ. Never mind, then we're both right. It's the white patriarchy's fault anyway. But in cosmology, it doesn't work that easily. There must be a value for the Hubble constant, and we are incapable of finding it. And now the crisis is getting worse, because a new study has taken a close look at our local large supercluster Laniakea. Hold on to your hats because Laniakea is a cosmic structure of superlatives. This large supercluster of galaxies stretches over more than 520 million light years and comprises more than 100,000 galaxies including our Milky Way. If you zoom out even further, you would realize that Laniakea is in turn part of an even larger filament in the so-called cosmic web. I hope you're feeling duly tiny now, I certainly am. Studying Laniakea can tell us a lot about the cosmos. One of the central questions in cosmology is whether our position in the universe influences the observation of cosmic expansion. If we were deep in space, far away from any galaxy, our view of the cosmic expansion would not be affected by gravitational effects, and we would probably be better able to observe distant galaxies moving away. However, since we are part of a local cluster of galaxies, our data is influenced by a certain bias. The Hubble tension therefore also arises from the question of whether this bias affects our measurements of cosmic expansion and whether there may be even larger gravitational influences that we need to take into account. And this is exactly where the new study comes in, which I have also linked below in the sources. If you have nothing better to do in the evening than read complicated studies alone in a quiet room, find some friends, people. The researchers wanted to find out if the Laniakea structure plays a role in Hubble's tension by studying its gravitational effects on the measurement of cosmic expansion. They assumed that the shape of the large supercluster of galaxies has a roughly ellipsoidal shape and developed models to account for the proper motion of the galaxies within the supercluster. 
The results of this study were surprising. First of all, the researchers found that the Laniakea supercluster influences the observations of cosmic expansion by around 2 to 3 percent. That alone would be a finding, as it shows that our immediate cosmic surroundings influence our measurements. But here's the thing. This influence goes in the wrong direction. In other words, if we don't take the effects of Laniakea into account, the Hubble tension appears to be smaller than it actually is. This means that the new results show that the tension is 2 to 3 percent larger than previously thought. In other words, the new study wanted to resolve the Hubble stress, but has increased it. It's like when you want to put out a fire, but somehow you get gasoline instead of water. Well, almost, because although it reinforces the cosmological crisis, it's of course still a finding that takes us one step further. But first of all, this result raises new questions and increases the uncertainty about the Hubble tension. It remains completely unclear why the effect of Laniakea shifts in the wrong direction, and it will take a lot of new research to understand this phenomenon. However, it does show that one explanation for the Hubble stress is becoming increasingly unlikely, namely that it is due to measurement errors. In fact, some cosmologists say that it could be that there are biases or errors in our observations that lead to the different results of cosmic expansion. However, the more often the Hubble tension is confirmed by new results, as is now the case with the new Laniakea study, the less likely this becomes. And then, only the other explanation remains errors in the model of the universe, i.e., in our physics. It is becoming increasingly clear that our current model of cosmology is incomplete or partially incorrect. This would mean that we would have to develop completely new physical theories and models to explain the discrepancy. I would be interested in your opinion. How can the Hubble tension be explained? Why do we always get different results when measuring the expansion rate of the cosmos? Is our physics wrong, or could there be other causes? Feel free to write your theories in the comments. I'm curious to see if we can get an interesting discussion going. I'll let you know about any further cosmological breakthroughs here on the channel, but that's only possible if you follow my channel. And I know from the stats that over half the viewers haven't subscribed, yet it's absolutely free, helps me immensely, and you'll never miss a new video again. Win-win, so everyone press the subscribe button. One explanation for all the cosmological discrepancies could be that our universe is not real at all, but a simulation. I haven't gone mad. Some serious scientists believe in this matrix theory. And now a physics professor even claims to have found proof that it's all just code, that you're living in the matrix. To find out all about it and increase your identity crisis, take the red pill and be sure to click on the video shown. And if you want to support my work and get a new outfit, feel free to visit my astro shop. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, guys.